can tell your own story. And there's a great power in that. So I was having fun with this stuff. You know, it was a regular piece of paper. It's a very democratic way to tell stories and be in control. Democratic small d. Meaning, all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. Very cheap, very easy to start your story. And from there, you can go lots of places, but it's very easy to start and take over the universe. When I'm doing my stories from fourth grade to today, I'm in charge of the universe. I can put George Washington in swimming trunks on top of a surfboard. I know. Swag. Sorry. Some of the old folks who read the uh, newspaper, because this all started in the Newport newspaper down in the eastern part of the state, some of the little ladies got very upset. <laughs> very upset. But I was teaching, right? So here's that information idea. Because on the SOLs, you have to know that you, as the first president, balance between this guy and this guy. Right? There's Jefferson, from just down the road. He and Hamilton fought and fought and fought over what should be the job of the government. So this is really like a political cartoon. I used to do political cartoons. I think I'm going to show you some of those as I go forward. And, uh, but I haven't drawn any since about 1999. I've been doing this kind of storytelling since 99. And when I tell my buddies who are still political cartoonists, as I say, I'm doing political cartoons. It's just about really old news. Uh, I even try to sneak in little jokes to add to the information. Why do you think I've got hippos on his trunks? Let me raise your hand. Why would I draw hippos as the design on George's swimming trunks? It's connected to him some way. He had teeth that were not made out of wood. They were made out of lots of things, including hippo ivory. Yeah, very good. How'd you like to have some hippo teeth inside your mouth? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be horrible. So here's oh, the, the peanuts. Fight. That's this is, uh, you know, no great surprise. Uh, most of the people in my generation grew up reading this in the newspaper, and we all wanted to be in the next girl. But you can see I actually drew some stuff. And send it to him, and his secretary typed that out. And I still have that piece of paper today. You draw very well for a nine-year-old. I appreciate you sharing your work. I know, isn't that all? <laughs> so that's how I got to stand in front of you today, because Charles Schultz was nice to me. But storytelling with pictures goes way back. Way back. So this is before it's a horse any book, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a horse. These paintings are...